Hey everybody, I'm Brea Thorne, and today we're actually doing an unboxing. No, this one's not about pre-built, but it, it kind of is. So, I was recently contacted by a company called Vetru, and the reason that was exciting for me was because I had recently watched a video from Jay's Two Cents. Uh, you know, the guy that everybody in the comments says I look like for some reason. I don't, I don't look anything like that, but thank you. He's a, he's a, a handsome guy. But uh, anyway, he reviewed the V5, which is their air cooler. It's a five heat pipe air cooler with an RGB fan on it, and it performed extremely well, and it was only like $30. So that was pretty cool, and it's nice to see a company coming out with something that's affordable and performs well, which brings us to this. They wanted me to review a case of theirs. What we're doing today is we're gonna be doing the unboxing and first impressions of the case. Let's bring in our guest, Ari, come on in. Hello. Hello. So Ari is my girlfriend, and if you watch any of the Stardew Sunday streams, or any Sunday streams for a long time now, um, she's been on the streams with me, and it's been a lot of fun. Yes, Because yes. we, we like Stardew Valley and other games. A little games. too much. And, yeah, <laughs> and the forest and some of the games that we played yeah. together. Um, so when I built this thing right here, the GPU I got for it was from the pre-built that I purchased, and then we wanted to do a his and hers gaming setup that you see right here. Right? Yeah. So you got my pre-built computer, which has good specs, and it has the RX 580 GPU that I had previously. How's that been working for you? It's been great. It's yeah. been working really well. Awesome. I, the, thing, the thing is, that's not, you know, the, the case that it came with is just okay. It's a Lean Lee Lancool 1, and the airflow is kind of eh. It's not the worst. No, it's not a solid front panel or anything, but it's not super high airflow, like I always tell you guys, you need to get. Um, and also, Ari recently purchased this Razer Quartz keyboard, and uh, well. It fits my aesthetic a little bit more, and so we kind of want to go for that. Right, so the case that Vetru wanted me to review was perfect for this situation because it's the AO3. And you can find it on Amazon right now for $89.99. Uh, it's a high airflow case with a mesh front panel and, and three ARGB fans included with it, pre-installed, they're PWM fans, so they can actually ramp up with your processor heating up and all that. Um, and it comes in pink. Yes, yes, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, we are really excited about that. I think it's gonna look awesome. I think it will too. So what we're doing today is taking a look at it, we're doing the unboxing, getting first impressions of it, and what we're gonna use this for is the case migration video that I've been telling you guys I'm gonna be making uh, for a while now. So we're going to migrate that system, which by the way is a, um, it's a Ryzen 9 3900X uh, with 16 gigs of RAM, the RX 580, and all of that jazz. It's all going right into this high airflow case, and we even got three extra fans because it can handle up to six fans. And you know what? We'll get into the details when we get into the details. Let's take a look at it. Other good? Yeah. And there it is. Woo! It looks good. It looks really good. Oh boy, that is actually not the bottom, is it? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that is slick. So pink. So pink. Voila, there you go. So what we've got here is an ATX case. They say you can fit a full 360 millimeter radiator in this thing. I believe that's gonna be right here on the front. That's the only place to put it. So when you look at this though, you'll notice that not the entire front panel is mesh. It has sort of a chin here, kind of like the NZXT cases that you're used to seeing. However, unlike NZXT cases, you have full fine mesh here on the front. And it is a pretty fine mesh actually with a very nice crease on the corners here, so it gets a very nice look. The door is held closed with magnets and you can just give that a little tug. Ooh! That's right. That is so nice. It is on a hinge. If you've ever seen a tinted side panel, uh, tinted glass side panel on one of these cases, uh, it gives a really cool effect when you get your RGB going. Now, this actually looks like it supports a uh, vertical setup for your GPU, so you can actually have your GPU facing this way with the fans oh, facing out, okay, okay. but not a great idea here in this case, I think, because uh, it's only it's only a two slot size there, and most cards now are two and a half or three, if you get a more powerful card, and it puts the fans right up against the glass, so I wouldn't do that. 
But taking a look inside, you'll see that you actually do have space there, even though it has a solid front chin on the bottom. You do have the space for the three pre-installed ARGB PWM uh, 120 millimeter case fans. So there are standoffs pre-installed here for your motherboard. Uh, so that's gonna aid in the ease of installation here. Now looking at the front panel IO, it's not really front panel IO, is it? It's on the top, which is nice because if you ever do need to remove that front panel, then uh, you don't have to worry about it, um, wires that are connected to it. But you've got uh, one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0s plus your microphone and headphone jack right there. And of course your uh, large and clicky power button and your reset button right there, which can also be tied into your RGB. But looking here, you'll see a, con uh, a board to control your RGB fans. I didn't mention by the way, but this does have the uh, magnetic box. dust filter on the top. The magnetic box, yes. Uh, magnetic dust filter on the top. We opened this uh, already, but these are the, this is the set of three case fans that are matching exactly to the ones here and you can get them in black and in white to match the black and white versions of the AO3 case. We have the option of putting the radiator and two fans right here on the top, okay? Or we can have the radiator on the front and have the air pulled in through that. Um, we'll see when we get to the case migration. Uh, now down here, of course, you've got your, your where your power supply goes, okay? So it's gonna have the ventilation on the bottom and uh, so that fan can pull in some fresh air. The feet here will allow it to pull in fresh air. And you actually have a, uh, a spot to install a uh, 3.5 inch spinning hard drive or a couple of SSDs right there and some spots right here to install solid state drives as well, the 2.5 inch solid state drives. You even have this cutout on the motherboard tray, which is very nice because sometimes you already have your motherboard installed, but you're installing a new cooling, you know, a new cooling solution and sometimes those require a backplate. This way, you don't have to remove your whole motherboard to put the backplate on. And of course, you've got your, um, your front IO or top IO right here, and you have a couple of cable channels included right here, uh, and some of these you know, useful little punch outs to run your zip ties through or your Velcro tie straps. This is Ari's Black Widow V3 Quartz Edition, and uh, I, what do you think? I mean. It's a pretty close match. It's, it is. It is. It works really well with it. It's not too drastic of a change. It's in the same color range, so it doesn't bother me. It, it, um, basically, it's not a clashing color. It's like the same color, but this is like desaturated a bit, so it really Little works. Paler, yeah. Plus, we had an I idea for another video to do, with which was uh, because a great way to customize your case is, is a vinyl wrap. So what we've got here is uh, vinyl. And uh, people use this stuff all the time on like their, their mugs and stuff like that. So this holographic vinyl, something like around the chin or maybe on, uh, maybe on a few of the keys here just to tie it all together is gonna look really, really cool. And as I was saying, mm -hmm. it's gonna like force a variation of color. So yeah. it doesn't matter that it's not the exact same saturation of this bubblegum pink. Mm -hmm. So um, some final mentions here. I did not mention this earlier, but there is a dust cover for the power supply. It's right here and you sort of just pull it out. Here we go. Not my favorite execution there, like this little tab right here that holds it in from the back doesn't need to be there. So you can actually pull it out a lot easier. It's not gonna be shaken around. It wouldn't fall out normally, mm -hmm. but yeah. Then that just goes right back in somehow with the <laughs> magic. Um, yes. It'll work. It will work. It'll work. And uh, there you go, there you have it. So guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, would you rock the um, sort of light bubblegum pink on yours? I mean, I think it looks awesome. I think it's gonna look really good once it's all set up together and yeah. running with the lights and the fans. I think it's gonna look really good. Yeah, I keep mentioning case migrations to you guys because you can get really nice cases for not a lot of money. Um, this one coming out to $79.99 after the coupon and having excellent airflow, plus coming in black, white, and pink, you get these options. And this again is a brand that Jay's Two Cents had a lot of good things to say about when it came to their, the build quality and the performance of their air cooler, the V5. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this off here, but look forward to the case migration how-to video. Uh, be sure to catch the, uh, of course, System Integrator weekly videos every Sunday to find out what system integrators have in stock and what I recommend and all that. And of course, the streams, Sundays at 8.30 p.m. Central and on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central 
that's when we do the uh, System Integrators Weekly PC Build Assistance Streams. I don't have a better name for that. I don't, I, I don't, you know, side dub streams, I guess, Thursdays, and that's where I help people one-on-one, -on -one, one after another, with their own builds on uh, System Integrator websites. So it's free, it's all free. Twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. We'll see you there. Um, yeah, so. Bye. Until then, take care. I thought those stickers must have gone away to put it on this one. And now we got, we got this and it looks so cute and I can put them on this one now. That's why.